of all the, the message from it, but this is really cool. So there was a puzzle that was created in the early 1900s that became popular in the, in the 1960s called the Nine Dot Puzzle. It had three rows of three dots, and you had to draw four lines that would cover all the nine dots. David never knows this one, right? No, so how does it work? You can't. You have to think outside the box because you have to actually draw from outside through the uh, four corners of the square. And so it became a big deal. And so in this week's Parsha, you have an, an interesting anomaly where it says that, uh, you don't even have to read it, it just says that uh, Yaakov sends his 11 sons and his wives across the river, but his 11 children, but he had a 12th child, which was Dina. So the Midrash says that he put Dina in a box so that she wouldn't see, Asaph wouldn't see her and she wouldn't see Asaph, and she was inside this box. So there's this whole thinking that he got punished for it, and so did she, because right after that was the story of the rape of, of by, by the uh, Shechem. And so there's this idea that um, Chabad, that this Rabbi Shmuel Hertzfeld discusses, and he says that when you think about the tefillin that we have, there are four parchments in here and one parchment in there. And when you look at the parchments, the first parchment says... Uh, that you take your firstborn and you sanctify him to Hashem. And the Jews are as well a firstborn. And the second uh, parchment says that when your children will ask you, why are you doing all this stuff on Passover? You're going to say, on this day, God took me out of Mitzrayim. And again, you have to sanctify yourself to God. And so this whole thing about the message of tefillin, which is, I think, became the Chabad's banner, is when, you, when we wear tefillin, we wear tefillin the days of the week the first six days, and on Shabbat, we don't wear tefillin, because in creation, we're partners with God in creation, and those six days, we're actually doing stuff out there in the world, and on the seventh day, God rested, and so do we. We're not supposed to actually create anything on the seventh day. So the tefillin is the reminder of our active participation and devoting our lives to, to God's purpose, if you will, in the creation. And so I just thought that it was an amazing idea of this nine dots that Every time we put on our tefillin, we remind ourselves that when we say Shema, because the other two parchments come from Shema, it says, when we're on the road and we're going. That's what we're supposed to be doing six days a week. And let's take that with us for the rest of the week. Amen.